right, since now we have that uh, fender installed, if you guys uh, watch that video down here, link down below, how to install that fender, I'm gonna go ahead and install the bumper here. One thing you guys do have to uh, be weary about or kind of do first is that plug in that uh, fog light and the reflector lights uh, harness on. This one is missing one, but remember we have like this main harness over here that we need to plug in first and also the reflector. So let me show you guys how to do that. I like to lay it down first, like this, in a uh, surface that's like smooth. So this one's uh, it's a pretty clean, like, what is this, cement? Yeah, it's really clean, so it's not gonna scratch up anything. But if you guys are working on your outside, outside of your house, so you gotta be mindful of that, making sure that you lay something like a cardboard so it doesn't uh, scratch up the bottom. But let me send you guys over there. So it feels like it's easier to do like this side first. So plug this side in first. Main harness first, which goes all the way back there. You're gonna hear a click. There you go, I heard that click. And then we have another harness right here that goes into the fog light. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in there. And then we got this uh, reflector light, which is this one. I don't wanna drag it, so I'm gonna uh, move it closer to me. Okay, that's plugged in. Remember, if you guys have that harness on the other side, plug that in also. All right, first thing we're gonna do is secure the top, okay? So line up with the top. Actually, before we do that, I forgot about that cover over there. All right, so I forgot about this cover right here that goes in here. Let's see how it goes. Yep, in here, just slide it in. Make sure it matches up with the holes, just like that. So one thing that they did use was rivets, but I know a lot of people don't want to buy rivets for a one-time use like this. What, I, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to use push pins instead. There we go. So push pins, this is a lot cheaper. So these are like push pins, I got like a box of them. But we're just gonna utilize these to go ahead and uh, put those into place. Let's see which one. So I'm, I'm going to the middle first, so make sure like all the lines are even or all the holes are even. They don't move. Oh, almost. Gotta be careful. There we go. Alright, so again, I'm gonna make sure like the top part is secure first. Uh, there's a hole right here, then goes right here. Make sure that goes into place. So, so now everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and press down on here. Put that into place. Go over here. Top part, voila. All right, fender liner right there. See like this thing right here? You have a little of a ins uh, insert right there. The, fin the bumper goes inside the insert. So this one actually comes outside, okay? All right, so with that bumper in between the fender liner, just like that, push it up. Make sure the bumper doesn't go. Sometimes the bumper has a tendency to go so the bumper has to go underneath the headlight right there. 
Okay. So then you go ahead and put this in. A little bit of a resistance here. Let's see what's going on. Like I'm getting caught on the. Okay. So look, what happened was I was getting caught on the rebar. There we go. Okay. So in a few minutes here, we're going to go ahead and secure that right there. I'm going to have a little bit of a gap right here because... Let me see. Because that... That missing piece on this side is causing that thing not to go on. So let's see what I could do. Okay, here it's not. Yeah. The only thing I could do here is that I'm going to go ahead and uh, screw right here. The, the bumper shouldn't move, but because of that bracket that's missing right here, it's preventing it from actually... It's pushing this fender back, it's not clipping on. Let's see on the other side if it'll clip on. Perfect. Yeah. Pushes back and then put that screw in there. It's gonna be a 10 millimeter. Now we're gonna go ahead and put those push pins back into place. Push that in there. Okay. Perfect. So we got all three. Do that same thing on the other side. Alright guys, so the last thing that we're going to put on are these bolts underneath. Alright guys, so that's how you install a 2016 Chrysler's 300 front bumper. Thank you.